Fun Ground Pick of the Week. Now, the very first, and, it is, and this week we only have one, uh, and our pick this week is Kraken Skulls. I love it just for the pun, but more so, I love it for the pirate theme. Um, there was a, <laughs> forgive me, I'm going to, I'm going to wax rhapsodic with you a, little, a moment after I, this is a, a mixture of li- limeade and tea. <clears throat> I don't know what to call it yet. Um, I love pirates. I love pirate games, anything pirate based. I have, <clears throat> this is actually a prop for later, but as you can see, this is tiny epic pirates. <clears throat> And it has inside it. And you had to know that this was one of the main reasons I got it. Look at all those little, tiny metal coins. Mm, delicious. So, <clears throat> I love pirates. There was a game by WizKids. came out almost 20 years ago now. <clears throat> Not quite. Close to 20 years ago. It was called, funnily enough, Pirates. Um, and the... The first one, uh, the first, uh, the core game, or the first expansion, if you will, first set, uh, was Pirates of the Spanish Main, and it was uh, booster packs of the Styrene cards that were about a little bigger than a credit card, and you popped out uh, little pirate ships, and you assembled them, and then uh, you fought. It was really straightforward, just send them in to collect uh, gold from islands and get it home but then also try and take out all of your opponent's ships as well. Uh, I, a friend of mine and I, tried to make it a little more complex, so we created a, a little system of a series of islands that when you landed on them, you rolled a die, and whatever you rolled triggered an event for you, but it also triggered an opposing event that anybody could engage in. So, like, you know, uh, rescue the... The, the governor's daughter, and then, but then it, it, the other side, it would spawn a kraken somewhere. Anyway, love that game so much, bought everything I could for it, still have it, love it, uh, and I always wanted to get back to that version of it that I created to try and make something. Well, now it turns out I don't have to, because someone else did it, and it is awesome. So, you have six big cards, And they alternate between open sea and islands. The open sea is where the Kraken will show up. And then each island has like a mini game that you have to play if you land there. And I mean, you're trying to become the most notorious pirate. Uh, And you can bury treasure on an island. um, And then you can, and if you bury treasure on that island, you could also bury a booby trap in there. And anybody can dig up treasure on any island, so you can set it up for somebody else. You have two die <clears throat> that you use to battle, but you can upgrade to get more die. And that dice, sorry, two dice, one die. Sorry, I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, but you, you can have a max of four. You can, uh, you can battle each other. You can fight the Kraken. You do not fight the Navy. They just sit in port and they capture you and you have to try and escape. Um, I love that not only is, is every uh, island, every, every port, a mini game that you can potentially engage in. Um, there are 15 of those cards and, and you shuffle them up and you deal out six and then you flip three of them, which means, and so every, every, uh, open water on the reverse is an island, uh, a port. So that means there's 15 potential mini games, but you only ever see three at a time. So there's a lot of replayability here. Um, I also really love, I don't know why I love this so much, but I think it's fantastic. Uh, one player, if they draw the black mark, uh, the Kraken then chases you and it just follows you. And every turn it just keeps getting And what, but which isn't a, it can't get to you if you're in port, but you ha- you can only move one space. So, and then if it moves, it just jumps to the next open water. So you have to go to open water, but I think that there are some uh, modifiers with cards that will allow you to move. But 
once you get that black spot, you are doomed to fight the Kraken. Now, uh, there's a, a condition where you can beat the Kraken. Um, and even if you die, you don't really die in the game. You just get kicked out or you lose some of your renown, uh, glory, fame. I don't know. Um, yeah, I love this thing. This is the the pick of the week. I think it's just a ton of fun. I love the uh, colorful, almost play school esque art and uh, color choices. Yeah, this is a, there. It is. Oh no, that's map sabotage. So that that will let you uh, force someone to go the other direction, which would be horrible for the person trying to run away from the the kraken. Um, yeah, and so then you like you know. You'll battle each other. You roll cards. Obviously, you have cards that will alter uh, whether you you have swords or cannon. Yeah, there's a ton of little things going on in here, um, and uh, you use treasure to purchase uh, additional uh, cannon. You know, to get that extra die. Um, but it's not easy. Like. Collecting treasure is not the easiest thing in the game, which I think is good. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't just be flowing everywhere. Um, so what are we looking at here? Pop out. Digital print and play for five. Then you can get the base game for thirty bucks. There it is, two for fifty-five. Thirty bucks for an awesome pirate game. Done. I really think you should uh, jump into this. Looks fantastic to me. Um, 